Hey there, it's Jen Wiederstrom, contributing fitness director here at Shape Magazine, giving you a sneak peek into my brand new streaming workouts on OpenFit. Today we're doing Sculpt for Beginners. What you can expect is four movement pairs of which we will go two rounds of each movement pair. You're gonna need a light set of weights and a little bit of room. We're gonna be doing it right here in my home so you can be there in yours and do it right along with me. Let's do this. This is a standard curl to press. So grab dumbbells, probably eight to 10 pounds in weight with your palms facing in and your feet side by side. Take a deep breath in, squeeze your core and squeeze those biceps until those weights come up to shoulder height, then press them overhead, pausing for just a moment, pulling back down to that center position and then squeezing the triceps on the way down to that start. Make sure you keep the tension in the muscles, keep it fluid, don't hold your breath, smile and enjoy as your body and shoulders tone. These are lateral raises. Grab weights probably five to 10 pounds in weight with one on each side. And the key here is standing as tall as you can and reaching your arms as wide as you can, knuckles to the sides of the room as you lift those weights up to that almost T position, pausing for just a half a second, just above that shoulder line and returning to center. So every time the arms go up, you think tall. Every time the arms come down, you think even taller, keeping your core nice and tight and pulled up while keeping tension in the legs throughout. Starting on the right side in that ISO lunge, keeping that one weight in the front position. We're gonna have the feet split forward and back, but also about 12 inches apart from side to side. From that start position, you're gonna keep your feet in place and you're gonna drive your back knee down with your shoulders back and tight. From here, we just piston, we lunge down, we press up, full tension on the quads, hips, and butt, keeping that nice steady rhythm until the reps are completed. Single arm staggered row, hitting up that right side first, placing your left foot in front with your right foot kind of kicked back like a kickstand. Then with a heavier weight, think 12 to 15 pounds, you're gonna reach the weight down, starting to create tension on your lat and your tricep and your bicep, pulling all the way back, pausing at that final position and then returning to that start destination. So you're gonna cycle the reps like that, keeping a flat back, your chin tucked and breath steady. Now we're gonna move on to that left side ISO lunge with that weight in the front rack position, mirroring everything we did on the right side here. Feet are in stable positions, spread, spread out, driving that back knee down, really not just moving through the reps, but squeezing the tension through every fiber of the muscle. You're keeping your shoulders nice and back, your chin slightly tucked, the airway is open as we get through all the reps through completion, getting that nice booty burn. Now onto that single arm staggered row. We're gonna place the opposite leg, that right leg in front because the left hand has the weight. Again, looking at a little bit heavier weight, go for 12 to 15 pounds. You're gonna be pulling back, driving that elbow up and back to the sky behind you, almost like you're hitting someone behind you and you return, get that nice stretch in front and return back to center. Keep that same system in place, keeping the back flat and tight and full body engaged. One of my favorite exercises next, it's a marching glute bridge hold. So you're gonna put your hips down on the ground, shoulders stacked above and feet stacked below. You're in one straight line. Your feet are gonna press into the ground and you're gonna reach your knees away as your hips come up. So you're completely loaded on your hips and handsprings. Then one at a time, you're gonna lift one leg and drop, lift one leg and drop. That's as you march out, but you're putting 100% of the tension and the responsibility of the body in each march and step. Stick there, keep the body long and the core tight as you breathe through every rep. We're finishing this workout with single leg suitcases. So I want you to grab a, a weight, maybe five to 10 pounds in total, and you're gonna have that stretched in your hands over your head while your feet are extended out in front of you on the ground. So you're in one long line with your body. Then one leg at a time, you're gonna pull your knee towards your chest as you round up your upper body with the weight in hand, almost reaching and hovering that weight over the shin or the knee of your moving leg. You're gonna rotate like that in sequence, one leg, then pulling up the other leg, pressing that back into the ground, exhaling every rep, getting a deep core burn. Oh. 